guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny here, and I'm coming to you with a review of the Diva Light. I'm pretty sure that you guys have been seeing this all over YouTube. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my two cents in. I've gone from using box lights to the Diva Light, and now I now have a new setup, and um, I'm digging it. I will show you guys some video of how I set it up and how it came in the box and everything like that so you can see. I just want to say that it was extremely easy to set up and there are so many ways that you can finagle this because a lighting stand doesn't come with it. You can buy one separately. They also have an awesome mini tripod which is what my camera is on right now and I bought so many mini tripods that just let my camera lean and nod and do all types of nonsense. This is a bomb mini tripod but back to the Diva Light. Um, I actually haven't had it for a really long time. This is one of my first few videos that I'm using with it. Um, and like I said, it was extremely easy to hook up. If you have any other kind of lighting system and you remove your lighting head, you can use it with the neck piece or the mount that actually comes with it is compatible with other light stands. So I think that's really convenient. It seems like it would be really easy to travel with. If you're a makeup artist and you're going to work with a photographer or something like that, and you want to step to the side and have your own little photo shoot or do whatever you need to do, this is the kind of light that is perfect for that. There's so many times when I'm places and you see people doing things professionally on a professional level, not just out taking selfies, but it's like, you don't want to bother the photographer while they're doing their whole thing or whatever, but if you did the makeup on somebody and you want to say, hey, come over here in front of my diva light and let's get some really good pictures, especially if you're handy with a camera. This is something that I wish I had because that's what I used to do back in the day. If I were to do some freelance makeup or if I were to be helping a photographer do headshots or something like that, I wouldn't be able to bother the photographer. I'm talking really fast. I wouldn't be able to bother the photographer and say, hey, you know, can we get some of these style photos so I can have them for my look or my portfolio? You're not going to be able to do that. So I think, especially the way, like if you get the mini tripod and the stand and everything like that, the way you'd be able to travel with this is amazing. At first, I really didn't think I would like it because I used to see, like, you can hold a product and, like, you'd see the ring. But depending on how you hold the product, that's not an option. I mean, that's not a problem. I'm a perfectionist. I'm crazy like that. So once I got over that hump, I was kind of more open to this being a lighting solution. Not only that, but it takes up way less space in my beauty studio. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know this is 100,000% real. I'm always moving around my studio like a little hermit crab, like sideways and all this stuff because I have a brawly box and an umbrella light and this and that. And then having, you know, backdrop and having a table. This is just one compact stand. And then if you get the desk uh, mini tripod, you can sit it on your desk and it takes up it takes up way less space or whatever the case may be. I wanted to review this because you know, I'm a videographer, I'm a filmmaker, I use real tools and equipment, and I'm gonna tell you why. If you're looking for a lighting solution that's easy to travel with, that you can use for many different reasons and ways, you can also film and you can take pictures with, it's great. If you like the circle catch light, that's also really great. I also happen to like the little square catch light that you get with using a traditional light and brawly box situation. An, a brawly box is an umbrella, and a um, soft box combined together. So that's another thing that this light comes with a, like a dimmer, number one, you can dim it higher and low and I'll show you that. So this is it a little bit lower. I do have a light on my desk, but this would be it with it low. This is it a little bit higher, but not all the way. And this is it all the way turned up. And then I have like a small light, lighted mirror on my table. On a scale of one through 10, I would probably give the Diva Light system a nine. The only thing I don't like about it, it's not even that I don't like it, but um, if you're super into the catch light, when I lean all the way in, if you have anything in front of it, of course it's gonna take away from that, but that's that's with you and how you set it up. Um, other than that, it doesn't really pose much of a problem to me. Aside from it being, you know, something nice that gives you a cute catch light, yeah, 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 it gives you a really effective lighting. The fact that there's light going all the way around your camera lens is going to make for a completely beautiful, well-lit subject. Your lighting is not going to get much better than this. 
Prior to using the Diva Ring, I was using a three light setup and a backlight. And with my three light setting, I was getting a triangular shaped light, which is really, really good. And sometimes I could even do like backlight, um, my base light, lighting for shadow. I don't usually use a hair light, but you can understand that sometimes working out different configurations can get really annoying. One minute you think you have it perfectly how you like it, you sit down, you know, you raise a light, you lower a light. It just gets really, really annoying. So having the perfectly lit around your lens is really, really important. If you're into photography or filmmaking or just making videos, you'll come to realize that when there's light going all around your face, all the way around the lens, it just, it looks perfect. All right, guys, so if you have any questions or anything like that, you can go ahead and leave them below. I will have more information on the Diva Ring light. All right, guys, so as always, I'm going to get out of here. As always, I want to thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Hey, guys, if you like this type of review, go ahead and make sure to give me a thumbs up because I will definitely go ahead and do so many more gadget reviews. I'll do camera reviews, lenses, different editing programs. If you're not familiar with the fact that I'm a graphic artist and a filmmaker, well, now you are. Bye.